Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. We've made it to the 100th episode. Woo! Woo! Oh, we've yeah. Made it. We've made it, Taylor. <laughs> we've made it. So exciting. So, well, that was a long couple months. Yeah. We've yeah, but it did bit. go by fast, though, because we've got to talk to a lot of great people. Yeah, this so is true. It went that's, by pretty fast. It's pretty cool. That's pretty yep. cool. Well, we might as well, uh, what should we do for this 100th episode? Why don't we go through a couple different things? <laughs> Let's tell everybody what we've learned. That's a good idea. And who we are, because we haven't actually introduced ourselves. Oh, actually, that's just true. We have we haven't yet. We've talked about it. We've, we've yeah. never told anyone who we are. Yeah, the mystery people. Who are these mystery people? Who are yeah. you? Well, my name is Taylor, and I work with Window still. I work on the scheduling side. I'm also a mom and a wife. Awesome. Who are you? Oh man, that's a lot of words you just put in there. <laughs> I guess I'm uh, the owner of Window still. And a husband, and a uh, a father, and yeah, that's pretty much it. How did the window still get started? Ooh, ooh, you want to know questions now? I do. I just want that one question. Ooh, how, how did, did it get started? started? Well, and when? When? Uh, 2015, we got started. Okay. So we got started in 2015, and we were. Uh, this was back when I was. Uh, um, for those of you guys that don't know, I was in aviation for a career. Um, before this, and then I used to fly up to the upper peninsula of Michigan, and I had a lot of time up there. And I was just trying to figure out how a uh, a business could survive in the upper peninsula where there's everything for sale. And I was like, "Ha! Huh, I like taking pictures of buildings. How about I just figure out how that method out?" And then we figured that out. And then technically, for those of you guys that don't know, we actually started in Escanaba as our first uh, as our first uh, when we first set it up. But because if I flew to Escanaba all the time, then I flew back to uh, Michigan or back to Lansing. So we went up to Escanaba during the day and I was like, I'll just take photos up there during the day. And I come back in the afternoon and then um, do that. But we decided that we wanted to make sure it, uh, let's, uh, let's see how sure we put it. We want to make sure our customer service was perfect. So I never wanted yeah. the day that I would fly up there and not be able to take the photos. Yeah. And when you first built the company too, you and your wife, um, you guys made it so you could grow. Yeah. So when we uh, when we first set it up, we like every single thing we did made sure that we could add 100 people on mm-hmm. and then just set it up that way. So we pretty much studied on the industry, figured out what would work, what didn't work, and then looked at all the houses and like, ah, I could take photos of every single house in Michigan. Yep. Clearly, we haven't got to that yet, but. We're getting there. We're, we're in multiple there. states now. Yep. We're yep. in multiple we states. Are. But yeah. So my wife started it. She, was a, she did it full time for a while and then I started doing it and then I just did like the scheduling side of it and she did that went out and took the photos and then mm-hmm. pretty much um Bob which he hasn't uh he does he's he's been our first he was our first employee I feel like he started on day one but it's technically like a month in so <laughs> he started and pretty much still going with us strong. still going with us yep. every single day yep that's right Bob shout out you, to Bob I know you're not listening Bob <laughs> but if you are you're awesome but anyways, <laughs> Bob's awesome. It's the Bob and Sue team. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, chosen them yet on the scheduler, it's yep. Bob and Sue team. Local to Eaton Rapids, as yep. well, Lansing area. So, yeah. Well, how did you get started here? Well, um, I kind of was looking at that spot for a job. I was just in that transition period of being a stay-at-home mom and going back to work, and I was just kind of browsing, and I noticed you guys were hiring. And I was like, who is Windowsill? I've never heard of Windowsill. <laughs> and so I got looking into it and I was like, wow, this is a game changer. I really want to be on this team. So I joined the team. I like it. I yeah. like it. And it's went pretty awesome so far, as yeah. far as I can tell. Yep. So when here we so are. So far, so good. And now we have a podcast that we're doing. I uh, know. We have we lots of things going on. We get to talk to a bunch of cool people. Yeah. Learn who are, a bunch of things. We, ha- we have talked to some pretty cool people. We have. Yeah. Some people we didn't ever expect to talk to. And all of a sudden we're like, whoa, that was pretty yep. fun. Yep. <laughs> so we've For learned sure. quite a lot since our last, since our uh We have. First what is episode. one thing that you have taken away from doing the episodes? What is one thing that sticks out that you've learned? Probably time blocking. Yeah. Like 
I was kind of good at it. I kind of thought I was good at it, but like that alone, just you no, know, this is the only thing I'm doing during this time. And yep. That's that's pretty much the pretty much the biggest one. Other than that, just like the networking and yeah. all the other stuff and and like the coaching and the books yep. and it's stuff so like that. easy to get caught up and be busy and not productive. So if you're time blocking, yeah. you can set your time specifically to what you want to accomplish and you can get more done. Yeah. So well, like what that. about you? There's a lot that I've actually learned. Balancing your life for one. Um, I know that's for agents. It's very difficult. Phone calls are coming all day long, all weekend when you're on vacation. Um, So trying to find that balance, the work-life balance, that's super important. And then the books, I know you mentioned everyone has mentioned a book that we have talked to. So if you, I know you've read some of these. What about this one right here? Yeah. I know you've. For those of you guys that haven't read this, read this one. Actually, so it might not be as relevant to agents as much as uh, like whole businesses and uh, full businesses and stuff like that that are like. Uh, but it is still really good for agents too. The E Myth. Uh, this is one of my favorite books. I read that one lots of times. These are other ones that lots yeah. of people recommended. Um, the Rich Dad Poor Dad one. This never, never split the difference. The Ten X Rule. Yep. And then. Um, the Millionaire Real the Estate Agent. Yeah, this one, I know tons of people mm-hmm. have recommended this one. Um, I've read it several times, so pretty awesome book. So any of those books are pretty good. There's a couple other ones that people have uh, um, recommended too, but I don't buy the book until I have read it, and then uh, then I'll keep it on the shelf. But other than that, we have some more, but they're not here. Yeah, if anyone recommends a book for you to read, especially when you first get started, read that book multiple times because you're going to catch yeah. things that you didn't the first time as you read it again. So it's super important. Yep. What else have you learned? Um, let's see. We have learned to do one more thing always. Don't give up. So right when you think you're at that wall, don't give up. Push and do that one extra thing. Make that extra phone call. Send that extra postcard. Do one more thing because once you do – that one extra person that you did reach out to could be the one to jumpstart your business and keep the momentum going. So just keep going. Don't yeah. give up. There's a book about that. The one thing. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That was the book we were trying to find this morning, but we couldn't find where it's at. <laughs> I've read it several times, but I don't know where it's at around here. So. And I know there's one other thing that we always talk about, even with windowsill, build relationships. Oh yeah. That's Why is pretty that important? Awesome. Just to, I mean, once you get to know people like that, mm-hmm. they just want to, they just want to work with you. Just no, mm-hmm. it wasn't no like and trust. Um, so if they know who you are and they just talk to them all the time, and you build that relationship with them, they're just like, oh, I'm not going to think of anybody else. Especially if you're like, um, if you're like an agent, you're talking to the same person. Like you just you just know the person really well. They're your neighbor. You talk to them all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, who do you think they're going to use? So that's uh, pretty obvious, and that's pretty much general in business altogether. Just anything. Uh, um, just yeah. Build those relationships. Yeah, that goes for any any business. Build a relationship. What's one thing that you've done to build a relationship? Um, meet people for coffee. Mm-hmm. Meet in person. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Now that we can kind of go back to with the whole uh, gone for last year, but yeah. <laughs> um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty much before before last year. Is pretty much I would meet with as many people as I could many agents as I could. Um, so just so we could build our business now, but like, Mm -hmm. I mean, we've built a lot of relationships now just because of the podcast now. Yeah. So yeah, this alone has built relationships that are growing, I mean, into friendships. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. What else do we got Taylor? Always do a final walkthrough. Oh yeah. Final walkthrough. Always do a final walkthrough before. Yeah. Just before closing the day before, maybe Yeah. Walk through. (laughs) There's a bunch of different situations that we've heard of that can happen that are bizarre. So always do a final walkthrough. Yeah. For those of you guys who haven't uh, listened all the way through our podcast, (laughs) I mean, if you haven't made (laughs) made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Um, But um, we have this one question we like to ask, like, what is the worst property you've been to or showing or experience you had? Mm -hmm. um, We've gotten a lot of good things about those ones, but... A lot of very interesting things right before closing. Yeah, which reminds me to another point. Don't go into an abandoned building by yourself. (laughs) Bring someone with you. If you're feeling a little uneasy, don't go in the building. Bring someone with you. (laughs) There's been a few situations. so (laughs) For sure. Yep. What else we got, Taylor? 
I mean, that's pretty much it, no. guys. We pretty risk much it. Uh, take the risk. Oh yeah. That's like the one last thing that I wanted to say. Take the risk because if you don't take the risk, you're not going to get the reward. Yep, for sure. And once again, take the risk by hitting that subscribe button, and we won't let you guys down. We got plenty more to come. We got some more exciting things. We have a lot of exciting, yeah, exciting episodes coming up. And we've had lots of people asking about our our uh, what we're using. So we've got the links in the links in the bio down yeah. below. Yep. We've got the links down there for all our equipment we're using. So you guys can use those. Uh, if you guys are interested, go for it. And we're just going to add the ad in there too. If you guys haven't checked out Windowstill, make sure you go check us out. Windowstill.com. I, I think we I think we covered it all. I think we covered it all? I think so. I think so. Did we forget anybody? No. We should probably say thank you. Oh, yeah. That's probably a good <laughs> idea. Should we tell them thank you? Who should we tell them thank you to? So we should thank probably you tell to our listeners. Yes. Big important role in this whole podcast. Thank you to our subscribers and to our editing team. We couldn't do this without our team. Yep, yep. You guys don't see them back there, but they're uh, uh, they're over there behind the camera, just uh, editing away all our podcast. They would come over here. We would uh, we would introduce you to them, but. They're stuck over I there. I don't know if they hear us. They can't hear us. If our team comes over here, we can introduce <coughs> you. Team. <laughs> we should probably do that. Do you think we can uh, get them over here? I don't know. <coughs> <They're>, they're... Team. <coughs> Cue the team. Cue the team. Hello, hello. Oh, here, here comes, uh, hello, you, here you, comes, you, here comes you, Jonathan. Guys Hi, guys. How are you doing today? Hey, you want to say anything, Jonathan? Um, oh. Thank you, guys, for all the subscribers, and thank you for all the likes. You guys are awesome. I love it. I put my heart and soul into making this podcast great for you guys. So I hope you keep the likes going and the subscriptions going too. Thank He's our guys. number one, number one uh, fan. The then, we, fan. then we have Emily over there too. She also does a lot of, uh, she mm -hmm. makes sure everything's all, all the details are set, make sure everything's scheduled on time and uh, go from there. So yep. if we wouldn't have them, then we're, uh, then we would be. Uh, yeah. You need a good be, team behind yeah. us. Team. Mm -hmm. So Awesome. Well, with that said, that's all we got for you guys for this episode. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. 100th up, episode. <laughs> yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Hit the subscribe button. Where's it at, Taylor? Um, I think it's down down below. It might be up top, though, down honestly. It's, it's down below, I right? It's, down, it's below. down below. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. He's working. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think they're working. Should we tell him? Oh, uh, mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell him? Subscribe. Subscribe? What do we do? We got to point at it. Hey, I think there's a subscription button. Like, it might be. It might be there. It might be right there, too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. And red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess so. Uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah, I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five star review for listening to on Apple. That'd be cool. Five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't take but, four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this no, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. <laughs>